Hello! Okay, so I wanted to post my Spirit Story Saturday, like always. I will begin on explaining that the reason I have this hat on and am dressed the way that I am is because of some festivities we have going on today, so just disregard that. Um, I wanted to, of course, post my Spirit Story Saturday, like always, though. So, this in particular Spirit Story Saturday is not so much an experience, which believe me, I have plenty more coming to share, but more so my opinions on the title, sensitive, medium, clairvoyance, things of that nature, I myself being a sensitive, and what that exactly means, in my opinion, and what that entails. So, going ahead and just jumping right in it, I know I have mentioned in my other videos that I am what is considered a sensitive. Now, being a sensitive, in my opinion, is when you can see and communicate with spirits, but it's more so on a another sense type basis. I have seen plenty of things in my life as far as physically see, um, as far as my experiences seeing apparitions and all, which I know I have mentioned in some of my other stories. However, with being a sensitive, it's more if there was a spirit in the room, I could tell I could tell a gender and a roundabout age and a general message that they want to convey. And it's not so much in a physical sense. It's not hearing someone speak and really hearing it outside the ear, whereas other people couldn't. It's more a mental impression in my mind where I get the message almost telepathically. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's the easiest way I can explain it. And the same with what I see. If I was to see a little girl and I knew she was there, it's not so much that I see her physically, but I get a mental picture in my mind of what she would look like and what she is showing herself to me to look like. Now, I've had a lot of friends to consider the things that I can do and the abilities that I've shown to have as me being more of a psychic medium. However, I consider myself more of a sensitive because in my opinion a psychic medium is a little bit more advanced definitely they more so from what I've been around and from what I've seen and learned they can more so communicate with spirits on a stronger level see them more clearly than just that mental picture that the spirit wants to convey they can they have a stronger line of communication. Now, growing up when I was a young teenager, I really, I was interested in this, but I never really looked too much into it. I was too worried about having a normal teenage life, having fun, and now that I am in my early 20s, the later it got in, you know, in my teen years and the later it got in life as I grew older, I really became more intrigued. And I believe because I have became more interested in my abilities and in the other side period, I have became more advanced in my abilities just because I think I have opened myself up more. So as I got older, I just continued to have experiences. I believe my senses became stronger where I could really tell what I was feeling I open myself up to more to receiving messages, anything like that. I know in some of my other stories I've shared, I've mentioned sensing the little girl in my boyfriend's basement. Coincidentally, his cousin ended up seeing a little girl down there. I sensed a woman presence in a specific room at Waverly Hills. Told my boyfriend, the tour guide came over to that room a little bit later and discussed a woman's spirit who haunts that room without knowing what I said. There's just so many times where I've felt the presence of a specific gender, age, general message, and then things like that happen that really validate what I can do. And I guess just because I've received so much validation that it's not just in my head or it's not just me watching too many movies, it's really given me a new appreciation and a new look on 
being confident in myself and continuing to do this. So I believe that's another reason my abilities have only gotten stronger. So as far as that goes, that's a little bit of my opinion on being psychic, um, you know, on being a sensitive, on being a psychic medium, that they're kind of different levels. And this is just my opinion. Obviously, I'm not an expert in any way on the topic. I myself as a sensitive am pretty familiar with that. As far as other terms, clairvoyant, psychic medium, everyone kind of has their own opinion on what that entails. So I'm in no way saying that my opinion or my beliefs are absolutely correct and that there's not slight differences. Not saying that at all. Um, I'm just saying from my own personal experiences what I've kind of came to the conclusion of and that's okay. So that was kind of more of a backstory on me as a sensitive, my opinions on the abilities and what that entails. I'm going to move on quickly to what I believe causes the potential um, concept of having abilities. A lot of people believe that being sensitive or being, you know, a psychic medium or like I said, a sensitive or clairvoyant comes with several different possibilities for having obtained those abilities. A lot of people believe that you are born with it just naturally. A lot of people believe it is inherited from parents, which I believe a lot of people in my family have had abilities. And a lot of people believe that if you've had a near-death experience or if you have died and came back, you bring back those abilities with you as well, which also makes sense for me. When I was born, I came into the world and I was not breathing at all. I had to be rushed off. I wasn't responsive. So the moment I was born, I touched death. And a lot of people believe that if you ever touch death, you bring back a part of that with you. So it kind of makes sense that even since I was a child, I've had weird experiences. And, you know, just from there, I've had other near-death experiences. And my mom has made comments about me being more advanced than others in being a sensitive or having any kind of abilities in our family. I guess just because, probably because I look more into it than anybody in my family, I study more on it and I open myself up more to, um, you know, having abilities and to really not being scared from expressing them. So there's several beliefs on where that can be obtained. And I believe obviously in the inheriting I believe in touching death and bringing back a part of that with you. I really think there's probably an endless amount of possibilities as to people having abilities. And sometimes, you know, just they just naturally have them. A lot of people are just more, I think, sensitive to the other side, and that's fine. And like I said before, my opinions on the paranormal, on being as sensitive, on any of that is in no way saying that my spiritual beliefs are absolutely correct. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has the right to believe in what they want. If they don't believe in the paranormal, that's fine. I'm just going off my personal experiences. And I just think that there's no room for judgment in someone's spiritual beliefs because everyone has the right to believe what they want. And if they do not believe in this kind of stuff, that's fine. I just really wanted to share some of my backstory and a little bit more on what I think being a sensitive means and being a psychic medium and kind of where it could come from. So if you have not subscribed, take a minute, hit the subscribe button. I share stories every Saturday. Usually they're paranormal experiences of mine, whereas this one is a little bit more of a backstory. So take a moment, subscribe. If you want to share any paranormal experiences, comments on all my videos are welcome if you would like to share your paranormal experience. Or if you want to post your own opinions on having abilities and what that entails, 
and I'm just always up for discussion as far as that because I think there's an endless amount of possibilities in this world and I think that's pretty great. So keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to. And I have more investigations and more Spirit Story Saturdays coming.